SBI can't send payment services, prices in the ascending channel and giving company to prices is rising cost of finance. SBI can't send payments, the first non-banking finance company to take up exclusively credit card business offering customers a comprehensive bouquet of products and services, market share almost a fifth and currently number two in the market. Solid shareholding pattern about a quarter held by DIIs and FPIs. The subsidiary status gives SBI cards and payments a competitive edge as it has access to the massive customer base of State Bank of India which has a national network. SBI cards and payments made its debut in March 2020. Share price kept moving up till it reached the peak in August 21 and thereafterwards ensued a continuous fall till the share price reached a low of 686. Mainly two reasons, concerns on customer defaults and fears on rising cost of funds. The share price moved in a triangular fashion and it reached 926 on 7th June 2023. Over last six months, the share price has tumbled, moved down the hill month after month, reaching an all-time low of 733 on 17th November. The immediate trigger coming from Reserve Bank of India when it made SBI cards go for additional capital as the unsecured loan risk weight was raised by 25 points. That makes the cost of funds go up, so also charges to customers affecting the overall operations of the company. But there has been a small recovery from 17th November low level taking the share up to 7.68 on 14th December. Over last one month, the movement of quantity along with the price makes an interesting study. The major fall of 17th November with a massive quantity support bringing the price to an all-time low, but subsequent movement up has been supported by sizable quantities every time the price has moved up, indicating the share price is in an upward trajectory which is bullish and positive for the company. Considering the share price movement in its triangular patterns bouncing back after hitting the bottom, one can see an ascending channel starting from 13th June 2022 with subsequent closure and reversal appearing at a higher level which is quite positive and promising for SBI cards. Taking share prices over a three year period on a quarter end basis and linking it to TTM profits, the resulting PE multiple throws up an interesting situation. The PE multiple for over seven quarters is appearing below the median level, making it the lowest in years and worthy of further evaluation. SBA cards has quite impressive performance in revenue growth, where one year growth is greater than five year growth and the trend is seen in profit after tax where the growth has been better than revenue and recent growth better than five years and the PAT has peaked during FY23 taking the percentage to 16.5. The growth parameter in revenue and profits is just excellent. SB cards derives its strength from strong generations from its operations. Recent two quarters and also the previous three years have been excellent in terms of generating substantial funds to help tide over the concerns about cost of financing. SBA cards has an impressive return ratio with a growing equity year after year, ably supported by profits generated to yield an impressive return on equity which has been quite good during the last two years with the recent ROE standing at 23%. As a strong number two in the country, SBA card is working on constant initiatives to maintain its card addition traction. It has been launching co-branded credit cards involving multiple players in the country and its latest initiative to issue co-branded card with Reliance Retail is likely to have a greater leverage in reaching out to the retail family of customers of Reliance. Annual performances apart 
on a half yearly basis for H1 FY24 revenue has grown by about 25% moderate but the PBT is a concern as the H1 PBT year on year has been unsuccessful registering a meager growth of 3.7% which is also evident in the PBT percentage which has suffered to the level of around 19 and that makes us go into the causes which are affecting the PBT. The profit before tax fall attributed to two main reasons. One is the provisioning impairment. H1 of FY23 it was between 14.5 and 16.6 current year H1 it has moved beyond 18.2 almost 3% plus eating up profits. The second major reason is the interest burden finance cost as related to interest income gone up by almost 7%. It is crucial because out of total net income of the company net interest income constitutes almost 41% and that is where finance cost directly damages the profitability of SBI card. SBA cards unique NBFC growing revenue and number two in the market attractive price multiple in years concern is mounting cost of finance eating into net interest income of the company. Hope you will find this video on SBI cards and payments to your liking. I am Vithal Prabhu with the weekly video on stock learning simplified. You can access similar videos at our info card on Stock Learning Simplified. We look forward to your likes, shares and comments. If you are new to the channel, may please subscribe and press the bell icon for intimation on our forthcoming videos. For your valuable time and kind support, highly obliged. This video is for purposes of information, education and awareness only. It is not meant to be a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell or hold securities. Wherever applicable, please seek the advice of a competent professional before taking action of any kind.